In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can connect a USB hard drive to our iPhone or our iPad running iOS 13. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, since iOS 13 and iPad OS 13 was released, we've been able to use USB drives directly with our iPhone or iPad, but it's not just for flash drives. We can also connect USB hard drives and use them to store files to transfer from and to our iPhone or iPad. Yes, it's super cool. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Now, apart from the obvious thing, which is our USB hard drive itself, we'll need a couple of pieces of gear to get this done. The first is a lightning to USB adapter. Now I use and recommend this one, the Apple lightning to USB three adapter. And there's links down in the description to where you can pick one up. I prefer the genuine ones. I just find them more reliable and dependable, which is definitely what you want when you're transferring files. And now the other thing that we'll need is something like this, a powered USB hub, because unfortunately our hard drives are going to use too much power to actually be used by just the adapter here and our iPhone or iPad. So I recommend these anyway for connecting other things like microphones and audio interfaces and a bunch of other gear. So if you have one of these in your kit already, great. If not, there's links in the description to where you can pick up this one, the Tendac powered hub, which is the one that I use and recommend. Now you can of course use any USB hard drive you like, but the ones that I use and recommend are the Western Digital My Passport and the Toshiba Canvio drives. They just happen to be the most reliable and the best bang for your buck in my experience. And once again, there's links in the description if you're looking to pick up a new drive. And this will also work for drives that plug in. So your desktop USB drives, SSD drives, as well as portable drives like these, but they will all need to have some sort of power supplied unless they are completely externally powered. So that's why the USB hub is super important in this setup. Let's demonstrate this now with the Toshiba Canvio. So first thing we need to do is plug in the USB 3 cable into the actual hard drive. And then the other side of the cable is going to go into one of the ports on our powered USB hub. We tap on the button there to turn it on and the hard drive will start spinning up and be ready to use once we connect it to our iPhone or iPad. And this is where our lightning to USB 3 adapter comes into the mix because we need to plug that end into the lightning to USB adapter. We've now got our USB hard drive into our hub and our hub is being powered. And then that is being connected via the lightning to USB adapter into our iPhone and iPad. It looks and sounds more complicated than it really is, but now we're connected. And if you look down here on the screen, here is our drive called Tosh. We just need to tap on that one and it loads up. Now I've got no files on this one as yet, but but I'm gonna change that. Let's plug this drive into my PC and add some files. So here we are in Windows 10 and here is our drive. Of course, this works in other versions of Windows as well as on Mac, but there is something we need to make sure of here. So if we right click on this drive and go to properties, if you take a look here at the file system, it is XFAT or an FAT file system. Now that is essential because iOS only supports FAT. If that's NTFS or any other file system, it simply won't work. So if you do have a hard drive, you're plugging it in and nothing's happening, chances are that it's an NTFS formatted drive. But no problem, if that is the case, all you need to do is once again, right click on the drive, hit the format button, and then here you can actually reformat it. So if you look at the file system here, if it's on NTFS, change that to XFAT, hit the start button, that will reformat your drive, and then when you plug in, you'll be good to go. So I've thrown just a few files on here now. I've got a graphics file, I've got a movie file, and I've got a WAV file, just to show you that any file types can be transferred. And now what I'll do is I'll plug this drive back into my iPad and show you what happens next. So we're back here with our setup. All we need to do is plug this one into our powered hub again. And if you take a look over here, Tosh is gonna to pop up here in our location. It will take a little bit of time with a spinning drive, an SD drive or a flash drive is a lot quicker, but there you go. There is Tosh, we tap on that one, and here are our files. So we can go straight in here, we can tap on these and it will actually play them back. So if I tap on this, I don't have any audio connected, but it'll bring this up and it'll play. There you go. 
playing through the speaker. It's playing my Studio Live Today theme. So that is pretty cool there. And yeah, any file type you have there is going to be supported. You can also add uh, folders here so that you can arrange and organize your files as much as you want. You can transfer between this and your other locations and then back again. So this is a great option for backing up your files, for transferring files, for sending files from your PC to your iPhone or your iPad. There's two more videos linked there and there if you want more information. And don't forget, all of the gear that I recommended here is linked down in the description if you want to pick this up and set up something like this for yourself. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.